Hey y'all, I'm Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another gardening video. So today I am planting ranunculus corms. So ranunculus are a cold weather annual down here in the south and pretty much anywhere. I have never planted them before. So I've done a bit of research. Um, a lot of people have said that when you plant them out in late October, early November in our temperatures down here, zone 8B, anything seven and above, that they will start coming up February, March, April, earlier in the spring. So I have 61 of them in here. I will put up some screenshots from before. They come in little packs and they are dried up, look like nothing, and you want to soak them for three to four hours. I switch my water out every hour and after three, four hours, they are nice and plump. Ready to be planted. Now, if you leave them in the water for too long, they will get moldy. And if you have the time, which I didn't order mine early enough, then you can pre-sprout them in some soil but whoop. especially down here in the south the rumor is that going ahead and soaking them is enough you don't necessarily need uh -oh, to pre-sprout them so we're gonna go ahead and give them a shot i planted a few yesterday um in between the pansies and some Veronica that will come up later in the season and right around a bunch of Agapanthus. So in the spring, the pansies will still be in bloom, the Agapanthus will come up over all of it, and hopefully the ranunculus will be behind it. There are, these specific ones are pink and they're about 12 to 14 inches tall. And if you have decent corms, which I'm not sure if these are or not, I got them on Amazon. See how that goes you'll get anywhere from five to 10 flowers per corm. So I've heard you can put them anywhere from two to four inches close together to nine inches apart in the landscape. I'm going about six inches apart because I'm just not sure on the quality of these guys. So we're gonna go ahead today and we're going to plant them all around my bird bath using my auger. You want to plant them about two inches deep. I'm going six inches apart and then we'll cover them over and hopefully in early spring we will have flowers we'll find out i used 14 corms yesterday i have 61 in here so we'll see how far they go if hopefully they'll fill this whole area if i have too many then we'll keep adding them in other places so for now let's get started i'm going to go ahead and just start digging my holes making sure like i said they're six inches apart and I'm going to be working around my super tunia. These are the bubble gums because they should last through the winter and come back in my area. I'm going to be working around the lamb here. And pulling annuals that need to come out like this big gum. Now, I could clear all these leaves out of here. I am leaving them for now as kind of an insulation since I didn't compost or mulch this season. That may become too hard right now. We'll find out.
All right, so once you have your holes, you're going to take your corm, remember, stem side up, pointy roots down, and you want to sink them two inches down below the surface of the dirt of your soil. A couple leaves in the hole isn't bad, but you mainly want to be working with soil here. Be gentle because after soaking, these guys are fragile. You don't want to lose any good corn. And I do try to do a whole section at once. That way I don't lose where I have dug my holes and how close together everything is. Cover it back over with the leaves. And of course I will water these in once we're all done. And then hopefully we will have some ranunculus in spring. All right, so we went from this post, swooped back in front of the foxglove here, and then swooped back to this light post. And so we went in front of the roses on both sides, and this whole middle section will hopefully have ranunculus, and then the supertunias will come up and be in full bloom after the ranunculus bloom, because they kind of take a minute to get going in the spring. And then right behind them, we have a row of foxglove that will give us some height. And behind those, I've got a bunch of really tall, beautiful tulips that we'll be planting. So hopefully that will take care of this section. We're going to turn a smidge. Let's see. Da -da -da. It is extra sunny today. There we go. So right over here in front of this tree are where the other ranunculus we planted are. So I'm thinking right around this ferry, I have another 20 bulbs, corms, um, and that will be the last. We had 75 to start with. So we did 14 down here. We did about 30 over in front of the birdbath. Put the last 20-ish right here and call it a day. All right, ranunculus are like tulips or other bulbs. There is no immediate effect. So thank you for hanging out with me. This quick, short, fun, fast to the point video. Hopefully some of the things worked and we will have ranunculus in the spring. But if not, it's worth an experiment. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.